Hello VC, it's Bev here again, just wanted to do a quick video, um, just to, I've got a wee update on a few things I've gathered this week and I wanted to show them um, and just give a couple of extra shout outs to a handful of other um, channels that I subscribe to as well. Um, <clears throat> I know a couple of shout outs have been given recently to Rob Fulton and Fairly Secret Music, um, which I'm subscribed to as well, um, but I thought I would mention a couple of others. Um, so I'll just, I wrote them here um, and I'll put links below to all the other channels. If you're not subscribers, you can certainly, I would recommend you check them out. Um, they're all good channels as well. Um, so the first one I've got is um, the Omaha Introvert, that's Hannah. Um, she has a whole range of exciting goodies that she shows as well. Um, she's also vinyl, CD and cassettes, I think. Um, King's Drummer, that's Gil, and he plays drums, incidentally. Um, I've just recently subscribed to Gil. He seems to have loads of stuff as well, um, ranging from pop, rock, metal, all kinds of stuff. Um, my analog corner, that's Karsten over in is it Denmark. Um, he has a great channel too. I <coughs> really enjoy his videos. Um, we've got DJ High Noon, that's Tim. And uh, another good channel that I enjoy as well. Um, he's I know he's running a competition just at the moment, if you wanna check in on that. <coughs> um and we've got the Vinyl Verse, which is Bill, and another good channel as well. And lastly, I've got down here Moen Rock. <coughs> now he's also a, a Danish uh, based guy alongside Karsten, um, so check him out as well. <coughs> I've got lots of cool stuff everybody's shown. So um, that's just another shout out to a few people and I also want to shout out to Vinylizer because he's mentioned me recently again. Um, so that's John Vinylizer. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you all know him. <coughs> Fantastic channel. If you've not subscribed, go over and subscribe. Um, so next I'll get on to what I uh, picked up this week. Um, the first things that came through the door was, and now I just recently bought the uh, LP, remastered LP, which was a double vinyl of Running Wild's Death or Glory, but I also wanted the CD, this is the deluxe expanded edition of the CD. And on the CD you get three extra tracks that are not on the vinyl. Um, you get Chains and Leather, which I think appears on either the first or the second album. Um, Riding the Storm, which was a reworked 2003 version, and Bad to the Bone, also a reworked 2003 version. Uh, it's a two CD set, <coughs> uh, so it has, as I said, two CDs. Uh, so I just wanted this on vinyl and CD. Um, absolutely fantastic stuff, so that is running wild. Um, I meant to check this before I started the video. Um, I was recommended to get this now by somebody who commented on one of my other videos uh, when I mentioned Eclipse. Um, sorry, I forget your name. I apologise there, but you'll know who you are. Um, and he suggested that I check out Eclipse's first album, which is Bleed and Scream, which is this one. So I jumped over to Amazon and ordered it. Um, and I've got that this week as well. <coughs> And I've listened to some of the tracks so far um, and liking the sound of this as well, so it's really good stuff. So that's Eclipse Bleed and Screen, again they're from Sweden. Uh, <coughs> I grabbed this bargain, um, stopped in at a charity shop on the way home one night uh, for a quick look and picked this up. Um, this was all I saw that I fancied. Um, it, it's Alice Cooper's School's Out. Um, and that's the track list in there obviously with the, the classic School's Out. Um, I think this is my first 
believe it or not, this is my first actual album of Alice Cooper's that I own. So actually, I love Alice Cooper, I'm really into him, but um, I don't own any of his stuff, so that's going to get rectified starting now. So, but the CD here is in fantastic condition, so I was quite happy to grab that. Next one was a, a cassette tape that I grabbed off eBay. Now I had heard, uh, I think it was Metal Mickey talk about this a few weeks back, he mentioned the band. Um, and it's Femme Fatale, um, and because I just came across it and I remembered it had been mentioned so I thought, oh, I, wonder, I don't know anything about them myself, I've never really heard any other stuff. So I saw this, 99 pence on eBay, I'll put in a bid and won the auction. Um, so here we have the tape. So I'm going to check that out and see how it sounds. And as I say, I've no idea what they sound like. But the cassette looks in pretty decent condition. <coughs> That's the, uh, the picture of the band. Um, and the other side of the in, inner notes. So that's another one added to my cassette collection, which is now stands at something like five. <laughs> the the cassettes because I've completely got rid of all my cassettes, but I'm, like, well, I'm just grabbing a few that are, um, you know, fairly cheap. <coughs> and, and the last two are vinyl. This one I got first. This was an eBay item I won as well. And it's actually um, Jerry Rafferty and it's his album uh, City to City. Now this has the the gigantic hit single um, Baker Street on it. And this was primarily the reason I wanted this because I absolutely love the song. Um, don't have it on vinyl and I asked my dad if he happened to have it and he didn't either so um, I really wanted that song and I thought well I'm going to get the album because um, I'm not too familiar with other Jerry Rafferty stuff um, but he does have a few albums out there so I thought I'll get the album see what the whole thing's like but I'm a huge fan of Baker Street it's got the most one of these epic guitar solos it's, it's just spot on it's a really cool guitar so and the album here is in excellent to near mint condition just comes in the plain sleeve um, it's not poly lined unfortunately so i need to get a, a poly sleeve for it um, the album's from 1978 and it's on united artists and uh, records in rather splendid condition so I was really chuffed to get that. It cost me three pound. I actually think the, the kind of artwork on his uh, album is quite cool as well. So I think he comes under the kind of folk rock kind of genre. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. But. And <coughs> This one, which I was so chuffed to get, um, I have Keeper 2 on vinyl, the original pressing from 88, and I landed a copy of Keepers 1 um, from 87. This just came yesterday from a chap who was selling on eBay. Um, just grateful, fantastic. It's in really excellent condition. The sleeve is near mint. The record has a few like surface marks from use but it's in amazing condition um, that's the uh, one of these advertising sleeves from other records on the label from Noise International uh, band collage photos and the vinyl is the limited edition blue vinyl and it has a, a custom uh, label on it as well <coughs> on the noise uh, so there you go so I'm absolutely chuffed the bits to get that for a really good price as well and um, so I now have both original pressings of the keepers 
Um, and that's basically the that's basically it for me. That's me up to date just now. So um, I shall catch you all later, and have a good weekend. Bye for now.